Hi, Valerian. Thanks so much for coming tonight and thank you so much for offering to contribute to this panel. I'm like so fascinated about the opportunities, um, being in media myself, um, that uh, the fintech area could offer. And I know your company in particular has some special offering in that regard. Absolutely. Could you tell me like what draw drew you into this domain? Like what is what made you passionate about this area? Yeah, I think a lot of people, when they hear about blockchain technology, first and foremost think of um, the financial industry, right? Mm -hmm. That's where we started. Bitcoin is digital money, effectively, for, for the internet. But as the conversation has sort of grown outside of Bitcoin itself, people are starting to talk about blockchain technology. Um, and some of the biggest minds uh, in the space, Mark Andreessen and uh, people like that, are saying... You know, blockchain technology has the capacity to transform things in the same way that the internet transformed everything. Um, so now we're starting to get to that point where the technology itself is starting to hit into different industries. Um, my background is in the media industry, so once I kind of understood what blockchain technology was about, and it took a long time to get, get there, it's a lot to digest, um, I was just like, oh wow, you can do all kinds of things. So. Um, my goal is to apply the technology to the industry that I know, which is uh, media. In particularly with uh, Pop Chest, we're doing uh, micropayments for video. So uh, a monetization scheme for video that doesn't involve uh, either advertising or subscriptions. Uh, and the way we do that is because you can send tiny amounts of money back and forth directly from a viewer to a publisher. Um, something that you couldn't really do effectively at scale until we had this technology where you could um, where you could send tiny amounts of value, um, particularly with Bitcoin and also into uh, the broader sense of blockchain technology as we start talking about different tokens. So um, a lot of the ideas I think a lot of people in the media industry have been thinking about for probably since the beginning of the internet, right? Which is like, how do we monetize content? And we settled on ads, we settled on popovers and all that sorts of stuff. And we're kind of been stuck with it for a long time. Yeah. And now we're getting to a point where, okay, people are frustrated enough that they want something else. And the technology is meeting, um, meeting it at the point where we are right now, where it's like, okay, maybe we can, we're ready to try something else. So PopChest is mainly focused on video as a form of media, not, not photographs? Correct, yeah. So it's, um, you know, the, the goal of a startup is, of course, you want to take over the world, but you have to start by doing Sorry. one thing exceptionally well. So that's, you know, that's a big enough uh, piece of low-hanging fruit that can, can keep us busy for a while. And a wonderful uh, area to be involved in. Uh, we are, and I'm passionate about it. So I'm so pleased um, that you're contributing in this way, and um, hopefully we can support you and... Uh, each other in in this uh, domain, and so um, can you tell me uh, what your prediction is for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies? Because obviously your startups involved with that, so you must have had to really dive deep into this domain. Sure, it's so funny. It's the uh, the death of Bitcoin has been predicted many, many, many times over and over again, um, and we're actually starting to see a resurgence in Bitcoin, the currency. Right, so mm. it's uh, that in and of itself should tell you. You know, this technology, it's not going anywhere. You know, people can deride it and laugh at it. I did it first as well. I'm like, you know, magic internet money, this is ridiculous. Um, but for some reason, it still, you know, keeps around and keeps getting, you know, progressively, um, progressively stronger. I think the challenge um, for startups and the industry as a whole is to how do you give people the benefits of Bitcoin without them really knowing that they're using Bitcoin. Um, and by that, I mean, it's really complicated technology. Mm. Um, but a lot of complicated technologies get used all the time. You know, self-driving cars. And, you know, when you look at your, your email, you don't realize a lot of that is machine learning and AI. When you look at your Twitter timeline on your Facebook timeline, um, you don't really think of, oh, I think I'm going to use an, uh, a machine learning algorithm right now. You're just like, no, I'm going to check my Facebook timeline. Um, so that's a user experience challenge, which mm -hmm. as a startup, that's really our problem. It's like, okay, we got this miracle technology to work. Now, how do we get it into the hands of everyday people to benefit their lives in a way that they don't have to think about it because it just works for them? So, um, well, gee, that's really fascinating. And thanks so much um, for enlighten me, enlightening me. And um, I'm really interested in to see how your startup goes and um, and where the whole Bitcoin media thing happens because um, I love both domains and I just think it's fabulous that you've got involved 
in both of them. Thank you. Yeah, I was just uh, at an event in Los Angeles last night, the first time that I'd been back to Los Angeles after being in Silicon Valley for the last three months at the uh, Boost VC Accelerator. And it's a different conversation, right? It's like here I get to talk about the technology and the blockchain and all that sorts of stuff. Um, and when you start talking to people in the entertainment industry, it becomes, I can help you make more money, which allows you to be more creative. And you know, it opens up a whole different, a whole different discussion, which is how can individuals basically monetize their own content, be in control of their own uh, destiny because their hands are the ones uh, in control, right? You don't have to give away your content to massive platforms and, you know, be a nameless, faceless thing in the void. You can actually have a direct one-to-one -one relationship with your consumer, with your fan, with your viewer. Um, and if we can enable that amongst large amounts of people, I think we'll do quite well. And also to not use interruption advertising. I have been like so loath bored with that for so many years that um, it's just fantastic to have another option, really. And um, my last question is, um, what is it like trying to get funded for a, a, a startup that's in this domain? Because I know my experience has been that Silicon Valley has been very slow to the um, party as far as investment here. Um, so I just wondered what your experience has been. I know Boost VC is obviously specifically focused on this domain and Adam's really great in the work he's done here for the last few years. Um, what's a general consensus for you as far as getting investment into the startup? Yeah, it's a double-edged sword. I mean, we're just finishing up the program, so we're in the fundraising cycle just very, very early. Um, and I think the, the cycle has been like so many people got so excited so early on in Bitcoin blockchain and that you know, the, the hype bubble. Yes. And on the one hand, that's obviously bad because now those people are like, we haven't gotten a return yet. We're not going to put any more money into this. But at the same time, uh, I think that shook out a lot of the exuberance. So the people left in the space were people who were actually building um, useful things. So in that sense, as long as we're able to build something useful and then demonstrate that, hey, we actually have something that real human beings are using to make their lives better, um, the field is a little bit more clear, right? So obviously it's still a challenge on us. We have to get to that. But um, my sense is that as long as we keep building something um, that real people use to make their lives better, we're going to be all right. Fantastic. Thank you so much and good luck with the startup. I'll take all the good luck I can get. <laughs>